Welcome to Ancestry Ropes. My name is Dick Jews. I'm going to walk you through how to do Ancestry trees, family trees. All you have to do is go to your browser and type in Ancestry.com and then it will open to Ancestry. When I type in Ancestry.com, the opening screen is this one because I've opened it so many times it has me logged in automatically. Now if you notice, this screen gives you lots of info. Uh, for instance, it gives you the number of people in this trait, 2,900. And then uh, the photos, the amount of photos, etc., etc. And products and services. This tells you on that right block what kind of products they have. The pictures you'll see in this, uh, between the two red lines that I've written, is folks that I have recently worked with. And uh, once you press go to my tree, then it will bring you to my tree. As you can see, I am circled in yellow. This is the next page to open, and it shows me and my kin folks. It shows my, fo my parents above me, my children below me, and their spouses. And then it shows me their grandchildren. And those little green, uh, blue, or uh, whatever color they are, and red squares will take you into their particular family trees. Notice my wife has a square. And so she is... Uh, yeah, that'll be her tree. Once you click on my photo on the previous page, you will be taken to this where you can begin to work on my tree, on my individual tree, my profile tree. View my profile here or search my tips or do a quick edit and or add relatives to my tr to this tree. Here we selected profile. On the profile tree you'll see individual talk about me, Dick, my date of birth, my date of whatever, death, photos. I do things in 10 year increments. You'll enjoy all the photos I have. This is the search page. Ancestry offers you all kind of ways of learning about your clients that you may not have known. This page will give you leads on all kind of things as you can see. We are now in the quick edit page. As you can see, you see a profile on me. If something changes, for instance, if I'm deceased, you would click on that and go on in and enter the information. This is the tools page where you go in to add a family member. Or in fact, if you have somebody in there you don't want, you can delete him. You can do lots of stuff. If you would like to add somebody, then you'll have a secondary menu that'll look like this. And it'll say, is he a brother, sister, spouse, a child? This page requires entry of data. I used in red ink a hypothetical new spouse. The normal profile you see is, very, is uh, horizontal as this one is. Shows the parents, the individual, his children and his grandchildren, etc. The other way you can go is on a vertical profile. This page is strictly vertical, but it, you, you must understand that it eliminates all the children and grandchildren, etc. This is only ancestors, those that came before you. To share your tree with others, you need to click on that little box above in the black. And then it will take you down to a menu where you have many options. Other options include tree overview, media gallery, all hints, tree settings, and family group sheet. Honestly, most of these options I've never clicked on. However, I do work a lot of this stuff in other methods. 
Once you click the sharing button, you now get a menu that looks like this. And all you do is click on there and you can start adding that person. Once added, they'll have free access to your Ancestry.com tree and will not have to belong to Ancestry. On this next page, you will have an area to add your friends or relatives email address and a little note that you can include up there that would be sent to them. Ancestry will automatically send them immediately an invite to come. Tell them to keep their invite in a special folder so they can go back in whenever they want at a later date. You will also need to add their status, whether they are a guest or an editing member or whatever. This is what your guest list looks like. As you notice, you can delete them also, or you can change their status at a later date. This is the end of a basic tour of the Ancestry family tree and how to work it. You have now learned some of the ropes. Good luck. Future Ancestry Ropes well, next up, we'll be getting around within your tree, within my tree, and finding other profiles that are in that tree, and are searching for information on various tree members. Working with potential parents, you'll find that Ancestry will give you a list of people that are probably parents of those that you have added, and printing options and help options, etc. There are so many things that we can learn. I'm still learning. Doing and working in family trees is fun. It's like a treasure hunt, especially when you're working with Ancestry, as they have many tools and clients who are willing to share their data. Actually, you'll find you have relatives that are working on similar family trees, and these will come out, and you'll be able to add their information to your tree. As an example, my wife found when we started, she didn't know much about her family tree, but all of a sudden, once we added her father and mother and her grandparents, boom, up was popping all kind of sharing information via ancestry. And she has photos now of people she never had before because of ancestry, because they were on other people's trees and are in different logs. It's vast and it's fun. I'll see you.